I think science is very powerful and very successful precisely because it's limited its ambition. Essentially, it asks how things happen, what are the processes of the world. It brackets out, asking the question of why things are happening. Is there a meaning and purpose in what's going on? Similarly, it treats reality as an it, as an object, something you can kick around, pull apart, find out what it's made of. That's the experimental method, which is science's great secret weapon. But there's a whole swathe of encounter with reality where we meet it not as an it, but as a thou, where testing has to give way to trusting. So science is successful, but it couldn't possibly be the whole story because it's limited itself too greatly. Well, I certainly want to respect what our humanist friends have to say, and I see, of course, that they are people of responsibility and searching for truth. But personally, I think there are aspects of the world which only really fully become intelligible if we see the world as a divine creation. For example, the possibility of science. Science finds the world is deeply intelligible, not just the everyday world, which obviously we've got to understand just to survive in it, but say the quantum world. I worked in quantum physics. The quantum world is totally different from the everyday world. We have to think about it in a totally different way. Nevertheless, it's rationally transparent to us. We can understand it, and it's rationally beautiful. When we understand it, we are given the sense of wonder at the deep order of the world. Now, are these things just happy accidents? Or do they have an origin? I think they are more significant than being just accidents. And to me, the most satisfying explanation is that it is the mind and purpose of God that's being explored through our scientific investigations.